Hi, I'm, I'm Amelia. And I'm Johnny. And, and this, this is, is our Trash, trash Recital. recital. started off as kind of an unlistenable demo <laughs> in like the first like big lockdown in Auckland and then we got money from the government for it yeah. which was nice but did cause terrible delays. Yeah it was kind of like we'd, we'd worked a lot on different things for your album but it was your album and this one happened to just sort of end up in, in that pile of things we worked on as well. And it felt like a, a good thing to sort of use that money towards and like, yeah, yeah nice. It definitely track already. had a vibe. Yeah. <laughs> Are we doing the <laughs> intricate beat? <laughs> it's not that intricate. Oh, yes, now I hear it. I mean, I guess I go. Dun, Get dun, dun, dun. You will like send me a thing with you kind of speak singing over it and be like, can you sing this? And then I'll like record it on my phone and send it back and you're like, yeah. Three, four. Jen's I'm really, an ideas girl. Jen's really great for this stuff because you can send a thing like this and Jen was like, here are five voice memos with individual like ad libs, Do you harmonies. Do like these ad libs? And, Would yeah. you turn that into a synth sound? And it's Am like, I overwriting your song now? Yeah. It's great. I can't hear that rhythm at all. The thing about me is I haven't had a lot of experience actually making music um, in communities in Auckland, but I was an eight-year-old in 1998 and I loved <laughs> R&B music, so I will have any ad-lib. I will pull it out of a pocket. I'd like a crash symbol, you know? Um, oh. I also think I should do some of the ad-libs through this. Sure. <laughs> Amelia is a person who likes to write songs in a theme and will go full theme. It'll be like... I'm gonna be a sad teen today. <laughs> I mean, to be very honest, it was much less like, this is something I really need to express. And more like, these drums sound like a breakup. <laughs> oh, oh good. this is good. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, there is like a 90s UK rap guy called MC Duke and he's like very important in the legacy of like UK jungle music because he used break beats <laughs> in his like hip hop music and released a whole record of just the, the drums and they got sampled heaps but not only is there a record of just the drums but there's also <laughs> all the acapellas and so yeah so in the track he says get hard never soft <laughs> and I was like I have to I have to use this not that loud please well, but does it sound better with the candle? It sounds better with the candle. And Amelia will be providing that vocal today. Yeah, I'm going to be standing in for MC Duke. <laughs> I cannot sing while you do random things next to me. It's a fill! <laughs> it's a fill! Yeah, buddy, I just see you going... <laughs> I, mean, I have to sing calmly! <laughs> I mean, so you not want the fills on this one? Maybe not. I think it's more interesting if you say what it's about. Ooh. So I think this one I'm always imagined like a 2000s love lorned teenager. Yeah, absolutely. I think the train station in the song is definitely the, the Kingsland train station. Oh. I guess I had assumed in my brain that it's mo the rest of the song is taking place at the station. Uh, maybe there's a lot more to the story than I had <laughs> thought of. It's not like a breakup from a relationship. It's like you're almost in a relationship with someone. Like things were kind of happening, or and you were in the bit in, where you're like in excited your mind, about it. You were in, a yes, relationship. in your mind, you were like, "This is gonna be." Fucking and then you kind great. of got a dose of reality that you've never even spoken to this person before. Yeah, and you're just like, I "Can't do anything about this." Yeah, hard. Love is useless. Love is useless. Love is useless when your heart is broken. Tell me what you need, babe. I'll give you anything. Give you anything. Give you anything. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs>